for those of you who follow me, you know that um, I've called out no a political operative. Now, a political operative is kind of a um, it's a term that can have a broad definition, right? Um, in fact, uh, one of my contacts who works for ADA, she does a lot of volunteerism for ADA. She calls herself a political operative openly because that is kind of her purpose is that she is trying to advance the legislative agenda of ADA, which is mostly good. That's a foundation that was created by um, Eleanor Roosevelt, I think, or followers of Eleanor Roosevelt. And they're very progressive, right? So we coordinated back in 2018, we coordinated some uh, canvassing events where we were trying to advance the uh, rent control initiative in um, parts of Northern Orange County, I think it was. It was like Santa Ana and like Anaheim and stuff. So she and I did some canvassing events back in 2018. Um, one was for uh, Dr. Jose Moreno, who was running for city council in Anaheim. That was like our first event, our revolution in Southern California. That was our first event. Now that term like I said, it can be broadly used, but in most cases, it's used in the sense of somebody advancing political agenda specifically. Uh, I use it in the case of Nomiki Cones in the fact that she has advanced smear campaigns. She goes, she regularly is uh, pulled into Fox News. She advances right-wing talking points and she advertises Fox News. She tries to make Fox News palatable to liberals and progressives, mostly progressives, right? Um, so today she is courting Jeff Campbell, who, like I have said in the past, I've never had a conversation with this guy, but we've been friends since 2016. Virtual friends, if you will, right? So we've been virtual friends since 2016. He does a lot of uh, amazing activism in Florida. I'm in California, he's in Florida. And she is now courting him by dropping his name on Sam Cedar's show. I did a series of live streams last week about how duplicitous she is and how she actually participated in a hit campaign against the actual progressive running in CD 34 back in 2018. I received a phone call yesterday from a very prolific activist in Southern California who confirmed my already suspicions that the progressive network is going to try and advance Marianne Williamson as a challenger to Biden. That's not going to fucking happen. Most of the country doesn't know who she fucking is. And the people who do know who she is know how fucking crazy she is. Okay? Like, we remember the tweet about how she budgets orbs into her monthly budget. guys. This is such a joke to you. This is such a fucking joke to you. There are a lot of us who are hurting. A lot of um, middle class Americans who are now becoming, you know, the, the wealth divide, divide is, is I mean, this is a fucking joke to you. on my way to work. I'm going to have real conversations with real people who actually have real problems. It's not like a fictional play pretend fucking world. I'm going to walk the blocks.